Hey Floss Tube, welcome to my 15th Floss Tube update. Sorry that it's been almost three months since my last video. So this will, I guess, count as my June update. Life got kind of crazy. And not crazy, like crazy, crazy. I don't know. I, yeah, it just got kind of crazy. So I. I apologize for that but I'm so glad to be here hopefully it won't be too long of a video today's a Tuesday I'm off from work so I decided to use this time to film not really getting much natural light I don't really know how the color will show up here it's kind of already looking a little bit washed out but I just want to do it anyway um, I've been sick so I'm sorry if I'm sipping my coffee throughout the video just to keep myself from coughing I hope everyone is doing awesome. If you're new here, thank you for joining. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you. And let's do it. This is my Pikachu cup from Candace. It's love, love, or stitch. I always say her name wrong, but it's totally fine. And we are going to be going to the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat, so official countdown for that. I'm excited, and I'm also, like, really scared at the same time. Okay, anywho, on to the cross stitching, what you're here for. So, FOs. FFO. I had an FFO. I also forgot to take something out, which I'm going to try to take it out now quietly. Um, so, I'll just insert a picture. It was for an exchange that I did on Discord in my Twitch um, stream team, Pixel Stitch. We did a smalls exchange, and so I made a little pillow for my person. Um, that's it. I can't really think of of anything else. <laughs> um, I really love this finish and I was so excited for it. I wanted to keep it even though I'm not like into D&D &D yet anyway. Um, but yeah, that was that. That was a pattern that I got from Candace forwarded to me. It was just on Pinterest, like a Perler B pattern that you can convert into um, cross stitch really easily. I had, since my last video, I'll try to show them because I count these as finishes because it's a lot of work and this is the year of page finishes matter for me because I have a lot of big 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 projects that I work on and their finishes are their page finishes are legitimate so I'm gonna try to fan these out but this is the number of page finishes I had from my last video until now so I will count them. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last night I had another page finish. I was really excited. Seven page finishes. So that is awesome for me because that totally matters. Seven page finishes. Um, regular finishes that are not FFO'd, I had two. <coughs> Again, I'm so sorry for the coughing really getting over a bad cold. I finished Flareon. Yay! So this is a free pattern from Birdie Stitching um, for the Pokemon TCG card patterns. Um, she hasn't released, or he hasn't released all of them, and I'm thinking of patterning the rest that are not available after I'm done stitching all the ones that are available from Birdie Stitching. I also have to say I am so, I was so excited to see everyone's Mania videos. Um, I personally did not participate. I was just too busy. I honestly, I just have to say it, I was depressed and I still am and I've been really depressed and that's been um, really hard for me. Uh, my stitchy bug has been in and out. So that's mainly been like my life for the past year, but the past two months have been really hard. So I really did enjoy watching Mania. I kind of wanted to do like something like this for Mania and start 19 or 31 Pokemon TCG cards and then that dream flew away and that's okay. I might do something in July when I'm off of work and I might have like my own July mania and do a few starts, but I battle with that inside myself because I like to have the number of whips that I have, which is around 10. And I feel like that's a good number for me to get decent progress on them and not forget about any of them and I get to work on them sometime throughout the year and get finishes. So I don't know. Anywho, 
So yeah, free pattern. This I did on plastic, Ida, two strands over one. Love it. I might just put some felt on the back and it might just be a big bookmark or I might give it away on my stream. I haven't been streaming. Also had another finish. This is going to be um, part of the smalls exchange that I'm going to be bringing to the New, to the New Jersey Flash Tube Retreat. And this was a freebie pattern that I got from Lindy Stitches newsletter. And the first one is Books, Cats, Weekend Bliss. I don't know how well the colors are going to show up here, but this is on some orange and yellow 14 count Ada that I hand dyed myself. And I used one of the DMC variegated. I can't remember which one. I'd have to look it up. And I didn't turn off the autofocus, but that might not be a bad thing. And then on the other side is the Books Dogs Weekend Bliss, which I used one of the new, the newer um, DMCs variegated for. So those are those two, which I'm probably going to make into little pillows. With this camera, if you try not to show your face, it tends to focus. I've used, I, this is the camera I use for streaming. I stopped using my phone. My phone is um, on its way out. I really have to get a new one. It's I've needed a new one for almost a year and yeah. Okay. <coughs> Apologies. Whips. Epic Pokemon. So I'll try to insert pictures of what they look like when they're done. And then maybe I shouldn't, I don't know which way I'm going to put the picture, but <laughs> try to not sit right in the middle of what it looked like the last time you saw it. If I could find it. It's been a while. So I have to dig through videos while I'm editing. And this one became sort of a travel piece. I, <clears throat> sorry, visited my boyfriend a lot in the past month and a half. He graduated. I had spring break. Um, I messed up a flight and I didn't want to cancel. I didn't want to cancel it and not show up. So I just took a weekend trip to see him. So there was a lot of traveling. There was a lot of TSA in my life and airplanes and delays. And I made it through. It's always worth it to see him. And I was going to save this for the end, but we are closing the distance soon. So I'll talk more about that later. This is my epic Pokemon now. I just realized, I'm like, I'm supposed to be showing this piece and not rambling about my boyfriend. So this is on 28 count even weave, um, two over one, 10 stitching. Love this piece. So yeah, this was a travel piece for me, even if it wasn't in my rotation. Um, all the thread colors are in one box. It's easy for me to take it with. Um, it's somewhat an easy project for me to work on, so this was it. I will try to get a different travel piece in the future. But I did, I think I did a lot. I think the last time I showed it, I was kind of, I don't even know if this page was done yet. Uh, Flareon's completed, Chansey, Kingler, um, I forget who's coming over here. Almost Stars finished completely. <clears throat> yep. Love it. It's awesome. Hope you're watching on 1.5 speed because I'm slow. But I also talk really fast, so it's like one of those things. Anywho. Hang on, kitty! This is a dimensions kit that I finally rotated back on. Um, picture of it completed. I might be able to just show or not the packaging. But I'm Oh man, I used to have it like really accessible, but okay, sorry. So I might try to insert a picture of what it looks like completed. And then of the last time, I can't find it. <coughs> and this is where it is now, which looking pretty good. It's on the called for fabric. The only thing I'm still debating is I was supposed to do the back stitching here in two or three strands, but the pattern was really unclear. The pattern says one strand, but then when you look at the front of the packaging, like it's definitely, that's definitely not in one strand. So I don't know if I'm going to go back and fix it, but look at the bean toes. Wait, which way am I going? Little bean toes. So cute. So cute. Anywho, that's that one. I love dimensions kits, but I also have a hard time working on them. Great, and now I'm out of focus. Darn. Sorry, this really drives me crazy, and I know how to fix it. Okay. 
Sorry, I love this camera, but it's also a very finicky camera, so I'm going to keep the controls for it over here. Okay, moving on. What's next whip was Dark World, my Legend of Zelda Dark World map. This is on <clears throat> 18 count, just white Ida, 2 over 1. Um, my sister visited for my niece's christening, and... I originally thought she did the light world version on 14 count, but she did on 18 count. So we're really excited that our patterns are going to be matching. And I'll probably insert a picture of what it looked like the last time. And this piece is massive. And this is where it is now. I'm not even going to unroll it all the way because it's not really worth it to. So, But that's it. I'm so close to a page finish. So I actually started the second page already. And the thing was that the whole first page didn't fit in my hoop. So here's still some, yeah, here's still some of the first page over here that I'm almost done with. And then this is the second page over here. I kind of hate working on two pages at a time, but making it work. This will never be done, but I'm working on it. The clouds are just hell. And hopefully over the summer, I'm really hoping to have like some kind of theme days in addition to my rotations because I will be stitching all day once school is out. So I will probably be able to work on more than one project um, a day. Cause I kind of like to stitch in the morning and then when I go back to stitching like in the afternoon, evening-ish, I like to try to do something different. So it's either crochet, knitting, um, maybe I might turn on my sewing machine, but if I'm stitching again, I'll probably grab another project. So I'll probably get the wheel going and that'll help a lot get some things that aren't necessarily in rotation and get me to work on them. Luna and Artemis. This is my next whip. This was a pattern. I don't, I think I may have generated this one myself off of some perler bead art when I had a free trial of KG chart. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just have it. It doesn't say who the um, maker is. But I know there are some people out there that do sell this pattern if you want want it. Sorry, before I get into another coughing fit. This I am doing, I might show a picture of what it looked like the last time. And then this is it now. It's on 14 count gold dusted by DMC, the DMC fabric. I don't know any other name for it. I forget what it's called. Anywho. I'm doing this three over one and the white is done in the DMC E940 so it's the glow in the dark and it looks so cool so far. Oh my gosh. So it, I felt like it wasn't working at first and then um, when this was out of my rotation and I went to put it away like for the night and I turned off my light and it glowed and I just got really excited. I was like, oh my god. So yeah, I decided to do um, Luna's little dingy and um, Kranich for some shiny. And I decided to do um, the insides here and the back stitching in just regular white because I thought that'd be kind of weird if it glowed. I just wanted Artemis, only Artemis to glow. So I'm really excited. This one just finished rotation. So I just started rotating on Mega Man, so not much progress to show there. So Mega Man will be my next video of progress. And I just had a page finish on it. And that means I'm on the last page which means it'll probably be finished this year, probably this summer, because I think I'm just gonna like tunnel vision it and finish. All right, other stuff that I'm working on, Spring Cottage. I don't know if I've done a video since um, my seasonal co cottages. So I work on these little cute houses from, um, hold on, let me fish it out. The book is always right here because sometimes I need it for the back stitching. But now, of course, I'm not going to find it as easily. Okay, I got it. From this book, Seasonal Cottages. So I've I work on the season. I can't speak anymore. I work on the cottage on the season that we're in. So we're. I think the last time I filmed, um, we were still technically in winter, and I might have just started spring. I'm not sure. Either way, I don't think I've, I looked at my notes. I don't think I've ever shown spring. So this is what spring will look like when it's done. Actually, it might've been the one on the cover. No, that's summer. So 
yeah this is what spraying will look like when it's done i have to say these are like one of my favorite projects to work on i don't know why there's a super cute cat in the window um and so this is where i am on it and i absolutely love it and anytime i'm working on it i never want to put it down so that might get some more work maybe today since i'm home but we'll see whoa really washed out so this is on some 14 count ida that i hand dyed myself um <coughs> whoa super sorry and uh, i'm doing this three over one i really like it it is so cute and it's kind of like a mindless um project i also take this one with me when i travel because it shares the same thread box as epic pokemon so Seasonal cottages get to come along. Sorry, I did a lot, so I'm not taking it out. Same thing for my Bob Ross. Uh, my Bob Ross Sal. I'll try to show a picture of it. Um, last time you guys saw it, and I'll maybe insert. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'll insert um a picture of my Instagram one, I guess, because I really don't want to take it out of the hoop. But this is a mystery sal by K Warning, um, 8-Bit Stitch on Etsy or 8BitStitch.com. And a piece is released every three weeks. And um, this is the one we're on now. This is a 32 count Belfast or Easy Guide Belfast. Is that possible? I don't remember. Um, two over one, 10 stitching. So I went from doing cross country to now just doing complete color completion in whatever part is released it's just made it easier for me and um i don't know that's just kind of how i want to do it especially because i want to experiment with sort of um extreme cross country and my plans which i'll talk about that's it i had another sal i'm not counting it as a sal i'm counting it as a whip because I'm just so far behind that it's just a whip at this point. I'm I am doing the Jane Austen Sal by oh I always forget. I'll try to insert the name or put it in the description box. Um I'm just really behind, so it's a whip at this point. I also am having severe FOMO on not being in the ferret birthstone the ferret zodiac birthstone sal. I'll try to insert more information about it. I really wanted to be a part of it, but I, I didn't know the um, pattern creator too well. So I hate to say that I kind of was like, oh, it's a mystery style. I don't really know their style. So I was really hesitant on doing it, especially because the prep was a lot. Like you had to prep each. There was just a lot of before prep. And I was like, if I end up really not liking or enjoying this style, I'm going to have spent a lot of time prepping it. And I love it. And I'll insert a picture of somebody who is working on it, nakashima -fied, on Instagram, and I'm having severe FOMO. So I might try to pick it up in the summer, but it won't be a sal. It'll just be another whip. So there's that also. Um, I kind of didn't really want to pick up another sal this year, just because I've been emotionally going through a lot of nonsense. Um, new start. I do have new start. I haven't said what Pokemon this is. People have already guessed on Instagram. But I did start a new Pokemon card. So if you have any guesses on who this might be, feel free to comment below. I am trying my extreme. Um, sorry. <coughs> Cross country stitching on this. I'm going for complete color completion. This one I'm doing just whatever color I started. When I do it for my new start, I want to go from the least color. I think yeah from the least color to the most color and it's gonna be on like a full coverage piece that's so gonna be crazy but I want to try it so anywho 14 count um, plastic Ida this will be another Pokemon card I haven't had a new start since like three months or so so since I finished Flareon which was I finished Flareon pretty soon after my other video so it's been about two months or so so I deserve that start um plans not sure. I do still want to start my massive Miku piece. I haven't gotten the supplies for it. Maybe in the summer I'll have time to like really focus, kit it up, uh, get the fabric, convince myself that I want to do extreme cross-country stitching on it. Um, other than that, I just sort of been like 
starting kind of whatever I want. And I do have a list. So I kind of just put those guys in the wheel, spin it, see what comes up, um, see what I'm feeling. Kind of don't really have plans like that. Um, I do, I am going to start a Biscornu because in my pixel stitch uh, group that I'm in, I arranged another swap and this time it's Biscornu and I have never done one before and I want to. That's about it for my plans. I'm trying to think if I missed anything before I start haul. And I really think that was it. So if you don't like haul, adios. Also, I just want to talk about in terms of haul, cross stitch crazy. I probably will be unsubscribing after this year. I just have so many magazines now and so many patterns. And I might be doing more Michelle Bendy giveaway style um, stuff. So patterns from magazines. So look forward to that. I'm going to try to go through them over the summer and start um, sorting through what I will really stitch and what I really just don't like from the magazines and try to give them away now that my boyfriend is moving in, not this weekend, but next weekend. So just making space, really trying to declutter, declutter, let go of things I really like, but I know that I don't want them anymore. So I've been using this great exchange group on Facebook, which makes me feel a lot better where I can post things that I want to give away, but I don't want to throw in the trash. And so people will come and say, hey, I want that like random planner. And it just makes me feel better than throwing it in the garbage and thinking about the trash that I'm adding to the earth in addition to things that I really like that I'm not going to use, but I'm throwing away. I have a really hard time with that. Um, oh my gosh, I do have kind of another whip. It's in the knitting category, but I'll, knitting, actually crochet, but I'll get it. Part of the mess. There's just like, I have a light bulb here from a turtle that I have to get to my classroom. But I'm almost done with my modern rainbow blanket. I'm on the last ball. So this might actually be done very, very soon. So I'll show you where I am. So this one uses Karen Cakes. And it is gorgeous. Love it love it and it has a black border around it so it actually probably won't be done very soon but this is the top it has a beautiful um gradient and you can find this pattern on ravelry under modern rainbow blanket the only thing that stinks is that um the cakes in the pattern sorry the ball is kind of like going crazy the cakes in the pattern <clears throat> a lot of them have been discontinued so if you're like me and you have no color sense I would have a really hard time picking substitute colors for it. Here we go. There goes the end. So I tried to show it as best as I could. So this will probably be done my next video. I do have a pair of socks that are finished, but I'm not going to go and grab them. I forgot them. So I'll show them next time maybe. The socks were like my staff meeting project. And I actually did some cross stitching during my staff meeting yesterday at work. And I found another coworker who cross stitches and I never knew. I'm painfully shy and I probably won't approach them about my cross stitching just yet. I might wait for them to notice me first. <laughs> I'm just, I'm way too shy, which is why I'm really nervous about the retreat. And yeah, which is why I'm not in any local New York stitching group. <sighs> But I want to try. Sorry, I'm just messing with the camera because it did that thing again where it just is not focusing on me. Stop it. Okay, cool. Mm. Sorry. Hall. I went to Sassy Jack's <laughs> during spring break when I visited my boyfriend for our anniversary and I went to Asheville, North Carolina and Boo Boo Kitty, Candace, Slub Lovers, Slub Lover Stitches. Or Slub Lover Stitch. I can never get it. Anywho, she told me about Sassy Jacks, and we worked. And that was a non-negotiable stop. And my boyfriend sat down while I browsed. So this is, these are the goodies that I got. I actually did not break my Stitch from Stash budget. I'm not too much in the red. <coughs> and I don't count gifts in my Stitch from Stash budget. So stuff that I bought for gifts for people. I did not count. So I'll show you some of the goodies that I got. They had, of course, Nashville stuff that I wanted to pick up. 
I had a good time. You get a needle when you buy stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. Their logo is just the cutest. This one has a little cat on it. But um, other ones have like a little squirrel. And I'll start with some fabric that I got since it's right on the top. This is really pretty. I love these little pieces like this. This is um, 32 count Vesper by Picture This Plus. Love. This is 28 count Tarnish. Just says Colorscapes on it. Love. And I had to get this. This one was on my Etsy um, wish list. So I just decided to pick up the hard copy. Um, Lindy Stitches, I love you more than yesterday. Yesterday you got on my nerves. Sorry for the glare. Um, and then I picked up the Scarlet House. There's probably dog hair on this. There's probably cat hair on this. And I gifted some of these to a friend as well. This was just too cute and I could not pass it up. This is just Nan, little hedgy. I was just like browsing. I don't really know much about designers, honestly, other than Blackbird Designs and other like, you know, really popular ones. So I was just grabbing stuff and this is so cute. It's like a little pin cushion hedgehog. Like how could you not? And it comes with everything. Where's the camera you need? Um, <clears throat> heartstring samplery. I got coffee drinkers confession. So it's just, I, this is this says I don't have a problem with coffee. I have a problem without coffee. Coffee is big in my life. Um, another heartstring samplery. When in doubt, always buy more linen and thread to stitch all day, and absolutely no housework allowed. Always start a new project before the last one is finished, requiring a return to number one. So this is the Stitcher's resolution. I'm sorry that things are not really showing up that great. If I cover my face, they might. <laughs> sorry. This one I saw from Nashville and I had to have a heartstring samplery, the cat sampler. A house isn't a home without the ineffable contentment of a cat with its tail folded about its feet. I love cats. It's actually one of my cat's birthday this month, so I'm going to get her some toys. This is um, by Romina Petrucci. Sorry if I say things wrong. Summer house case. I just thought this was really cute. Little sister case. And it comes with a little cat thingy. This is Plum Street Samplers. Um, you know me and Jane Austen, so once I saw that, I had to get it a hundred ways. I suppose there may be a hundred different ways of being in love. I also started watching Downton Abbey, guys. It is real. I cannot believe I waited that long to watch this show. Do not spoil it. I'm only on season three. But I'm addicted. I will be done soon. Don't worry. School is ending. There's only three weeks left. Like ten instructional days. Something crazy like that. Anywho. I got a Lindsay Kate Cat Lessons for People. You've probably seen this one, so I don't have to read it. My cat is going, holy shit, nuts right now. Sorry, she's really going crazy. I don't know if she's chasing like a fly or something. Sometimes she is. Holy cow. Guys, sorry, she's, re maybe I'll record a little bit of her after and insert it, but she's going nuts. Um, that was my Sassy Jacks haul. See, not so bad. Wasn't so bad. Oh. Where are the little scissors I got? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got the cutest. Oh, where did I put them? Oh, man. I got these really cute. Sorry for all the rustling. What is that cat doing? I got the cutest pair of scissors while I was there. Oh, man. If I can't find them, I will show them next time. Oh, darn, I can't remember where I put them. Okay, I'll try to find them next time. Sorry, guys, and I'll try to remember to show them. But they were a little cat-shaped. They're really cute. Okay. Then I went to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> this was 
on another weekend visiting my boyfriend and you know me and seasonal stuff five seasons of quilts and i was like so confused with my boyfriend i was like what the hell five seasons so and then i was like duh because for me that is totally a season hold on do they not do they only show the pattern and not all of them oh, okay here it goes so you have spring I think it's spring hold on let me make sure I'm starting on the right one yeah you have hold on I want to get it to focus okay you have spring you have summer you have fall you have winter and then you have Christmas. <laughs> Christmas is its own season, which I'm like, duh, because I'm such a Christmas person. So like, how could I not be like Christmas is its own season? Obviously, Jen, I love Christmas that much. So I'll try to show these again. And I recently have gotten into quilting. I won't show you my quilt today because this video is already longer than I wanted it to be. But I finished all the quilting and I'm ready for the binding and I'm really scared. I might show you guys anyway. Um... But yeah, I just can't stop buying stuff. <coughs> so I'm in the red in my Stitch from Stash budget, but okay. And then I got this for my dad. I've been searching for something like this for a really long time. Um, I'm not like a super duper religious person, but whatever. This is the serenity, serenity prayer for my dad, and this would be really important for him to have. It's just one of those kits from Hobby Lobby. Let's see if I get it to focus. And it's just basically God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And my dad just moved into a new place, and I know he would really, really love something like this. And this would be super important for him to have. So I think that's it. And this is, sorry, this is an artiste kit. Mm -mm. And this one is Leisure Arts from Herchner's. It kind of doesn't say who designs these charts, which is like, oh, designs by Ursula Michael. So, you know, seasonal cottage, maybe my turn into seasonal quilt as well. Because I, you know, as if I don't have enough stuff. And I don't count that stuff towards my work stuff. Okay. All right, I'll show you guys my quote. Sorry for all the rustling. This is the last thing I promise, and then we'll do books, and then you can leave if you want. <clears throat> or you can leave before books. I don't know. Oh, my God, so much rustling. I'm going to have so much cleanup. Sorry. So this quilt, I started with um, a charm pack from Amazon, and I followed a tutorial by Melen Melanie Ham on YouTube, and I'm going step by step with her. And I squared it off, guys. That doesn't mean it's square or even. It just means I did it. <laughs> so there's probably not straight lines and stuff. But look at it. And I posted it on Instagram. And my brother was like, but it's not Christmas. And I'm like, don't worry. It's always Christmas. And this will be done by Christmas time. So yeah. Squaring off is done. And this is my back fabric. Backing fabric. Doo -doo. My quilting is terrible. I'm still really struggling with machine tension. And I guess just the way I feed it through the machine. So there are some spots that are not so great, but I'm not ripping forever. And so I just have to make the binding and put the binding on, guys. But I hear the binding is the hardest part, so I'm not looking forward to that. And this is a tiny quilt. Like, it's barely going to cover my body when I'm like lounging on the couch and I'm like how do people do bigger quilts how the heck do people fit the fabric into the arm of their machine like I'm thinking of my sister who has a machine very similar to mine and she made like a queen size quilt I'm like how do you fit that fabric through the little arm of the machine while you're quilting I felt like that was the hardest and most frustrating part quickly books I did a lot of reading um, reading bug came back, kinda. I finished Percy Jackson and The Last Olympian, so done with that series. For now, anyway, because you know there's a whole bunch of, like, other ones. Um, I liked it. Quick, easy read. You know me, I love reading kids' books. I also read... Oh. 
Oh, did I not bring any of my books? I read Troublemakers. Um, I forget the author. I'll just insert a picture of it. I partially read this as part of an emotionally responsive practice professional development series that I go to every year. And um, it came up. So we decided to read it. And then my staff at my school decided to have certain groups that were reading it as well. My cat is going ape shit. I can't even explain. Um, I am a special educator and I am a pretty progressive educator in general and work in a pretty progressive school. And I have to say this book did nothing for me other than make me feel really bad and make me feel and my coworkers that we were doing a disservice to children, even though we're trying our best with those who are the troublemakers. There's only so much we can do. Sorry. Class size is big and I'm going to get off of my soapbox before I stay there for the rest of the video. All I have to say is classsizematters.org. There are 25 kindergartners in my classroom. She's like breaking stuff now, which is not okay. Okay, I might have to end this, which is okay. Anywho, I also read Stranger with My Face. What is she chasing? It's things that I can't pause this recording. Um, Stranger with My Face. Pretty good book. It was it's by the person who did um I Know What You Did Last Summer. I enjoyed it. Easy read, kind of mindless. And then I also read Excel World which is in like the same sort of idea of Sword Art Online. That's really it. I did a giveaway for this last time. Nobody wanted it, but I'll try to give it away again. So again, don't say giveaway, but if you would like this, it comes with everything you need to create them. And you can just say, I would like to stitch the fairies and I'll give it away. So that it makes these cute little um, tags. So guys, I'm so sorry that my last video was so far away. I'll really try to record next month. I'll be off from work, so it'll be a lot easier. Um, other than that, I hope everyone is doing awesome. Take care. Happy stitching. Stitch all of the things that you want to do. Be happy. <coughs> I have to go and see what this cat has broken. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for coming on back. Take care. Bye.